Hi guys, it's Inamojo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I am very excited about and probably one of my favorite videos in history to make ever other than a good old story time ruining some lives. Today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me slash updated makeup routine slash semi how to kick your face like a pro. And now here's a word from our sponsor. You gotta keep the lights on and... Today's video is sponsored by Glamnetic. As you guys know, I've worked with Glamnetic in the past before. They are amazing to work with. They are a magnetic lash company. They also make a bunch of other things like press on nails. And I use their lashes all the time. So I'm very excited that they wanted to work with me on today's video. You'll see me apply another pair of Glamnetic lashes in this video at the end of the tutorial with that makeup look. But really quickly, I just wanted to show you how their lashes work and let you know how you can shop. First things first, I'm putting on Glamnetic's Magnetic Lash Liner right where my liquid liner would normally be immediately after putting that on I'm going to go ahead and apply a pair of lashes these are the lavish lash they are my favorite I love them so much I've actually already worn these before and they just go right in and out of the box like that on the magnetic strip and you can keep reusing them a million times and then as you can see on the back of the lash and my dirty hot Cheeto encrusted nail love that there are little magnetic anchors and all you're going to do is immediately pop it on your eye with the magnetic liner just like that my lashes are on you can tug at them they are completely fine they stay on all all night and you can pop them on and off and continue to reuse them and use different lashes and they are incredible for that. I went ahead and created a lash bundle for you guys with Glamnetic of my three all-time favorite lashes that they've ever made. Lavish that I just used, Shameless, and Lush. All three of these lashes are perfect for any different occasion and they have millions more that you can shop online. And I went ahead and linked that in the description so you guys can shop those together and make sure to use code TANA25 for 25% off any of your Glamnetic purchases. Click the link below to shop my bundle and the entire Glamnetic site with code TANA25 for 25% off. Thank you again to Glamnetic for sponsoring this video and make sure to stay tuned till the end to see me apply a different pair of their lashes with the look that I am showing you today. Alright, I love you guys. Back to the video. I'm hesitant calling this a how to kick your face like a pro and I actually haven't filmed a video like this for this reason and that's that all my life I pretty much had the same makeup routine. That's why I would always do a how to kick your face like a pro and sit down and show you it because I'd be doing that exact same makeup routine like every single day. But as as I've kind of started to like film more videos and do more photo shoots and like work with my makeup artist Alexis she's taught me so much that now I finally have enough knowledge to do like different makeup looks every day if that makes sense and for the first time in my life I have been like living like that like some days I'll do a smoky winged liner and the next day I'll have like light and brown faded eyeshadow with like fake freckles or a super blushy like fuck I can't even talk. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm completely lying. Like, I actually do different stuff all the time. But tonight is um, Jaden Hostler's birthday, and I'm going to his show and his birthday party. And I thought for tonight's look, it's kind of like a rock show and then like a birthday, I would do the makeup look that I do the most frequently often now. Was that correct English at all? Which is kind of just my normal face and then a black smoky winged liner with a little foxy in a corner. I've been doing this look for like a year and a half now as pretty much like my go-to. Alexis created like the bougie version of this for me almost two years ago when I was doing this naked shoot on a horse. That day we were like, wow, like this is the look. And so whenever we get ready for something together and we don't know what we're gonna do, we just do that like go-to look, if that makes sense. And then over time, I kind of blended my typical everyday routine how to cake your face like a pro with little tips from Alexis to create kind of my own version of that look and that's like my go-to makeup look it's nowhere near as good as hers and if you get up close it's actually fucking awful it's what I do when I have to get ready for myself and I thought that tonight I would just walk you through my getting ready process I do however need my puff because I am a crippling addict when you stop smoking weed in Tana's world and you're getting rid of one addiction instead of just being healthy and getting rid of one addiction you pick up another one so in order to stop smoking weed Weed, I started smoking the puff which is actually awful but as you guys know when I smoked weed I never would smoke like pre-rolls anyways when I smoked weed that's probably so weird for you guys to hear I would always smoke backwoods or blunts which had a lot of tobacco in them and it kind of got to the point where I felt like I was like really addicted to the tobacco not I felt like I was and so I wanted to just chill out on that I haven't smoked weed actually for almost like four months now and when I say I haven't smoked weed I don't mean like I literally haven't smoked weed I smoked a blunt last night <laughs> but it's an awful explanation basically as you guys know I was smoking 
smoking like 20 fucking blunts a day. Probably just because I didn't want to be living in my current reality. It got to the point where weed was not even like getting me high. And everyone would always tell me, because I've smoked for about like 10 years now, I started in like seventh grade, that I was gonna wake up one day and just like feel mad paranoid and weird and like the high would change and I would hate it. And I was like, I'm a fucking stoner girl. That's never gonna happen to me. Like I could never hate weed. Weed is my life. And then I woke up one day and I started getting high and I just like started feeling weird, like super paranoid, super anxious, like almost sick, like headache vibes. And then of course I was just like so accustomed to doing it, but I just kept doing it. I was like, oh, this will pass. And then it just never did. And one day I got like way too fucking high. I'll never forget it. And I just felt awful. And so since then for about four months, I just smoke occasionally when I like really want to like eat a bunch of Taco Bell and have the munchies and shit like that. But it's weird because my whole life I've obviously had this crazy tolerance and now like two hits get me high and I feel like a pussy-fied baby back bitch when I smoke. But it's a really good thing. Other than picking up the puff habit, it's been good. Also, this is a get ready with me and I don't think anyone asked any of this. I just felt like I would update you while I frantically search for my puff like a ravenous little raccoon. <laughs> I located my puff and I'm summoning Amari to come get ready with me. Hey princess. Hey, I can't campaign on the way. I can't stop calling men pretty pretty princess, especially really straight men. It's just so demeaning and fun, so it's like my new word. I wasn't trying to demean you, I was just <laughs> telling so them. Straight. I would no, but I mean like it's the best when like a hot guy's hitting on you and you're just like, thanks, princess. Uh, I could go to tonight pale, but imagine if I was tan. Can you tan? So I'll just tan. Yeah. Is it a lot of work? Yeah. Why don't you just not? I'm just gonna tan as fast as I possibly can, actually. Let's do it. First things first in the process of getting ready is to self tan. That's only when I'm unprepared. The usual goal is to have done it the night before. But last night I laid in bed and stared at the ceiling and contemplated tanning for about an hour and decided not to and I do it today so here I am fucking myself in the future. Step one, drop the Versace robe. And if you'd like to see what that looks like, buy my OnlyFans. Ew, I'm so pale. I'm like the color of the fucking wall. Next step, spray deodorant. This can also be used as a shower. The fact that I'm just like butt ass naked and Amari's like right there, hey. Dude, they can like see your tits behind you if you turn or not. I hope so for my only van. <laughs> Next up, lotion. Really love this one. Nivea Shea Daily Moisture 48 Hours. Also can be used for hand jobs. I like to put this, I really have. Like this thing just, sometimes it's by the bed, sometimes it's in the bathroom. I just put this on all the dry areas of my body, like my hands and my elbows and my knees. Also can be used for hand jobs. It's true. And you have moisturized hands after it gives. Did you ever give like blue paint jobs? Yeah. yeah. I did that this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Really get in them ankles right now. I know you can't see, but like making sure they aren't crusty and dusty. <laughs> Using my favorite self tanner in the entire world, Isle of Paradise, Chef's Kiss. Now I will just be frantically, frantically spraying this all over my body. It's really good if you can't get it out and you just shake a little because you're so weak like me. One eternity later. As you guys may or may not know, I, oh my god! I have iron deficiency. Amari, look at the bruise on my leg. <gasps> it's gotten so bad. And how it has like an outer bruise. It looks like an eye. So iron deficient that I don't even know how I got that. Like I just like hit my leg on a table and like that happened. It's so utterly awful. But should I even tan? I can't even show my leg, huh? Right. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Sweating, screaming, crying, throwing up. Just finished tanning. <sighs> Had to get a shirt that I really care about. <laughs> Step one, I already did it off camera, but it is so, so important to me. I put the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil for Face on. It's $9, I use it every day before my makeup and every night before I go to bed, all the way to my like nipples at this point. I just don't wanna age and it makes the makeup go on better. I also like to use it after I tan so that my tan doesn't go as dark on my face as the rest of my body, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Really trying to get lightheaded from that. First things first, I'm going to start with foundation. I know a lot of people start with their eyes, but I don't have the mental capacity for that. And pretty much, I think every single past How to Cake Your Face Like a Pro, I was using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. They discontinued it. The time they were discontinuing it, actually, Alexis was using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation on me, and I actually started to like it more than the Marc Jacobs. I don't know why I was using such a drying, heavy, cakey foundation with minimal acne, like drying out my skin more for so long. This one is like a little more glowy and dewy and it just looks a lot better. 
Okay, foundation is on and I blended that bitch to my nipples because I am never gonna have nobody tell me that my neck is different than my face. Now that that's on, I'm actually gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as well. It's the best combo. And now here's what we're gonna do with this product. Let's talk about it. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Amari and I love that. We love let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are going to give ourselves the facial reconstructive surgery that we have never been oh so blessed to have, right? Okay. I know that there was a whole thing on TikTok where you just put like a dash here and a dash here. And it's like so cute. And I get that and all, but it's like a bitch is too tired for that. Like I've got things to cover up and figure out. I've literally paid a doctor to put a hammer on my nose and break it. And I somehow still severely need to change the shape. I almost go on my cheekbones a little bit so that it makes them look higher. Why is my Clash of Clans not loading? It's with our fucking Wi-Fi. I mean, did you not pay the bill? <laughs> I'm letting my clan down. <laughs> I'm always obsessed with Clash of This is not a Clash of Clans brand deal, by the way. They literally <laughs> won't sponsor me. I'm like sweating so hard. Wait, I'm gonna wear one right now. This is probably the only thing in my makeup routine that I never foresee changing and that is Laura Mercier setting powder. I pat a little in the areas that I really want to not move around. That's how I look at every LA party. Just kidding. And I just take the beauty blender and like pat in the powder. I learned this from someone who is now dead to me. I wish I could cream contour. It's just like every single time I cream contour, it looks like someone like smeared shit on my face. Actual feces on my face. Hula bronzer, also oh God, I got today's mortal on the third try. Sorry. So then I take the tried and true. The top comment on my last video was like the fact that she's still using that brush after like six years. I can't even keep my phone for a week. What the fuck is taking Kevin so long with the goddamn fucking Prosecco? Right. <laughs> Amari's thing has been calling the Postmate by name and like yelling, not at them, just in general. Today he was screaming, Bianca, where's my tuna? <laughs> <laughs> she was 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna use this brush to like outline where I contour but kind of place bronzer everywhere as you guys know I'm like a bronzer whore but like still focusing on the contour shape. Did you take Adderall today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna take a little angled brush and focus on the contour areas. Really carve that cheekbone. Really undo last night's crunch wrap. <laughs> That forehead, we're just thinking about a little too much. Jawline, most important. Just trying to match my face tune as best as possible. It's giving details in real life. Oh my God, I have shit everywhere, right? Like this, this has crust all over it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why are we just gross? <laughs> Oh my god. No. I'm like, don't at me like this. <laughs> it's the Taco Bell hot sauce packet. Spewed in my bag. In the Prada. Prada. <laughs> Not the Prada. Can you cut that? It's for real. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick in my white Valentino bag. <laughs> you spill. Lipstick in my Valentino white <laughs> I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and do the same thing to my nose. Kevin. Your postmate's just Kevin Wong. Like he hasn't gotten enough like Charlie D'Amelio videos this month. <laughs> oh my god, he's pulling up to the house. <laughs> now I do my nose contour really harsh and we're gonna let's talk about it. Just trust the process. <laughs> it looks so awful. I'm like, trust the process. I'm just really giving myself everything I dreamed of in my nose job revision surgery that I never got because I was having a worldwide scandal. Guess which one? Carrying on the nose contour to the eyes. I feel like the nose contour looks more real if it like carries. Again, trust the process. I look like a Disney character right now. So now once the nose contour is laid, I'm going to take a little flat paddle brush like this, some Dragon Beauty Brightening Powder. This is my favorite product in the entire world and I think no other company makes anything like this. It's such an essential. Sweep this under my eye, kind of like dragging up my eye. Look what that did already. This side. Go on the side of my nose and almost like erase any contour is where it shouldn't be. Now, this is my favorite thing about this product. You can put a little on a brush and if any of your makeup is harsh or patchy, put it on top of it and it like softly blends it out. And now it's normal. It's kind of a hack for if you suck at blending or putting contour on. My hair is literally so greasy right now, it sounds like a fried chicken. <laughs> 
now as you can see it's like blended and very strange way to do it but when I tell you also if I'm looking in the viewfinder the entire time one get over it but like two I keep checking my makeup okay I use one of my favorite palettes this is benefit for scope great for travel because she comes with a hula pink blush she gives I like Dior backstage blush 10,000 times more I just ran out of it and it's sold out everywhere so once that's all done I move on to brows I have had such a brow journey I feel like when I think about the way I do my makeup brows have changed the absolute most I obviously spent years of my life using Urban Decay eyeshadow in faint and then carving it so I got my favorite yeah. contour stick <laughs> right here and not one but two shades oh highlight and contour uh-huh KKW1 KKW2 uh -huh. last time she did a glam netting deal we were drinking 1942 so obviously I'm like, we've, we've had made, some we've budget cuts <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, carved brows are out. I don't make the fucking rules. I was very happy when that happened for the simple fact that I kind of have a lot of eyebrows. So all I really do now is take the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Goof Proof. <laughs> and it is not goof proof because I be looking goofy sometimes. I be looking goofy as hell sometimes when I do my brows. Goof proof. <laughs> Makeup really does have some funny ass names though. The only thing that I make sure to always do, I saw this on TikTok. From the edge of my brow, I draw one hair that kind of goes out and up because it like hadids you. It, it gives a little snatch. <laughs> I'm gonna open this over the bathtub in case KKW is a little messy. <gasps> it's goof proof! <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish drawing in little hairs, brushing it up, and then I will come back to you. And again, up close, not my best talent, but uh, it's giving goof proof. <laughs> you wanna get goof proof? Yeah. They're like, I don't think that's the goof we meant. <laughs> <laughs> I started I using this product that's like an oil, oil and it made my hair grow grow fast than I've ever tried to straighten my hair like. I'm bald. I'll donate. Lots of love. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not the Lily Pond skin. <laughs> I forgot about that Lily right. Pond scandal where she was holding up the like tape and hair extension. Oh, like I donated my hair. She did it. That's a funny ass scandal. <laughs> That'd be a funny YouTube video, like going back on scandals past. Uh huh. The goof proof brow pencil was not that goof proof today. My brows are giving goofy. Of course, the one fucking day I'm filming a makeup video, I take a brow gel. This is Brow Fast Sculpt by Maybelline. Brow Fast Sculpt. <laughs> Nothing about it's like fast or sculpt. It's literally just fucking brow gel. I don't know. I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze for a long time in the little jar. Do you recommend that over this to really? get wispy brows. Only issue with that is it's like a little jar that you open and I always leave the lid off and then it gets like as hard as like a quarter. I just brush my brows up to give them like a little feathery natural. Me saying natural is just so weird. I feel like this is the first like remotely natural makeup tutorial I've ever done. But don't worry, we've been a slut up the eyes. My favorite eyeshadow palette in the world. Oh, it's broken. It just broke. Uh, <laughs> And it like sold out everywhere. Step four is to also get it all over the floor. The footprint, the footprint, it's giving Yeti, it's giving Bigfoot. The Makeup by Mario little palette. I'm gonna take the same brush I contour with for my eyeshadow, which is just awful. I really like to conserve, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it into these two light matte brown shades. Imagine if Taylor had like zero waste for a month. Are you saying, <laughs> are you saying I'm wasteful? What would I wipe my ass with? Don't zero waste people like put their asshole to the sink? I don't know. I yeah, what do they do? Uh, I think they like, also use like, the yeah, the wash <laughs> Imagine shitting, wiping your ass with a washcloth, Ew. and then rinsing it. That's really Ew. what zero waste people do, huh? Yeah. I'm like, but we love them for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend the zero waste community. I don't like, think anyone from the minimal waste community is watching you. <laughs> no, I got the maximum waste community over here. I get like not wasting, like, but like if the environment is depending on me wiping my shit with a washcloth. <laughs> I'll stop, I'm serious. You saved the trees, fuck. Love turtles. This is glass. <laughs> I think the environment just wants you to wipe your ass. <laughs> like, at least this environment. Like, please wipe your ass. We're all environmentalists around here. There's like zero waste. Like, oh, she's like, guys, I'm not showering anymore. Think about how much water. 
water I say. <laughs> Period. Take the Makeup by Mario liquid liner pen. Here's the thing. The goal is always a wing. Sometimes we get a wing. Sometimes we get a tang. You know, it's not gonna be great. Drawing a little line out of my eye like that. I also don't think anyone should take winged liner advice from me. And then when you mess up, you just keep making it thicker. How thick the wing is is never dependent on my mood. It's dependent on like how stable my hands were that day. If you need help with this, literally Google anyone else's tutorial though. I will be back. One eternity later. <laughs> they are not twins. They are not sisters. They are not cousins. They are not neighbors. They don't even know each other, y'all. Can I take a makeup wipe and just kind of try to like... Once I have the rough draft of the wings, I take this little pen and I go in the inner corner and like... Foxify. It's not what it's called for sure. Once that's done, here's the reason why I do not care if the wings are good or even. I take a little brush like this, just something thin. Skinny as a needle. And it could be an angled brush. I get the black shadow and I just go around the borders of the wing, slowly smoke it out so that all of the mistakes look purposeful. Just do the bottom lash line. There's a lot of finger wiping going on. Like, it's nothing good. So, that's the vibes. I'll keep adjusting them to make them more even, but they're never, they're never perfect, you know. I'm just fixing my face, too. The next step I'm going to do is one that I recommend to no one. I think that if you have remotely one brain cell, you will see the problem with why I do this. And if in 10 years I have cataracts <sighs> or early onset blindness, please look away but here's the thing with a look like this i really like how it looks with a super black waterline and i have very watery eyes pretty much any pencil does not stay any gel transfers and i found this product it is the kat von d lash liner it is a liquid product i think it's meant for putting on your inner lash line but like not the waterline but one day i was putting it on my inner lash line and it gravitated towards my waterline did it burn like i was putting rubbing alcohol in my eye absolutely did it also look amazing? Absolutely. <laughs> Ow. I know I'm just gonna influence like one 12 year old to do this and then they're gonna like go blind and then my career's gonna be over, so please don't. I'm just going to put on a coat of mascara. You guys know that has never mattered to me at all because my lashes look like I singed them off. L'Oreal Voluminous. I'm gonna do a quick coat of that and come back to you with some exciting news. And now that the mascara is on and did absolutely nothing like I said, let's move on to my favorite step, the sponsored part. I've done a few Glamnetic deals before in the past and as I've always told you guys, putting on magnetic lashes is far easier than putting on regular lashes. It super simplifies the process with no glue necessary. So I feel like if you are trying to get into fake lashes, Glamnetic is an amazing first step. And there's no mess or damage to your natural lashes. So if you have good ones, unlike me, that's a pro. And it's also extremely affordable compared to regular lashes. I wish growing up this was an option for me because you can buy one pair and literally use them over and over and over and over again. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying the magnetic liner across my lash line. I do think it's like far easier than applying lash glue. I like to add a little extra to the inner and outer corners so the anchors can like really secure onto that And inside the package they have a little magnetic band so you can just put them back and continue to use them It's amazing for a bitch like me who loses everything And it is oh, it is actually that easy that was crazy I thought I would have to at least go off camera adjust it But it is really 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 that easy and I've talked about this before a lot when I talk about Glamnetic But the cool thing about the lash itself is that you can actually just pop it off and pop it back on over and over and over again You could literally be sitting there with a man have your lashes on look super cute And he could be like I want you to suck my dick and you'd be like oh my god I don't want to ruin my lashes one second and then you suck his dick, get it back out of your packaging, and you can pop it right back on. What gets me is that she's like, I'm talking about giving head, like, you know, she, she's saying that she goes so crazy that she gonna fuck up her lashes. <laughs> oh, God! And now just for a little variety, because I'm so good at my brand deals, because I have to be, because I only get like one a year, I'm gonna show you the Lush Lash on the other eye. So on this eye, I have the Shameless Lash. Shout out, Ethan. And this is what the Lush Lash looks like. If you wanted a little more of a natural look, you could do something like the Lush Lash. I am definitely more of a shameless gal. I need something with a bit of a pop. And they even have crazier lashes too. Like this is the bombshell. These are really cute. Like, shame your face. Like, shame so should you guys like fight through my brand deal or what do you think? Are you filming? Yeah. 
Hey. <laughs> All right, and just like that, my lashes are on. I'll be wearing these with this look tonight, and thank you to Glamnetic for sponsoring this video and being one of the only brands bold enough to sponsor this channel. If you're not a lash person, I just very quickly did want to show you their press-on nails are so cute. These are so, so, so cute, and my nails are actually like atrociously breaking right now, so this would be a great solution. Now, with all of that being said, I am almost ready. We just have to do the lips. My lip product routine has changed so much over the years. I actually recently have been debating getting back into MAC, Honey Love, and Boldly Bear because I loved that. I've also been watching Pam and Tommy on Hulu. I hate to glorify this show because it's exactly what I'm trying to not be this year, and that's toxically in love, but it's so hot. I just, I want to get married to someone I just met in 24 hours. Again, but in the show, Pamela Anderson's makeup, that's actually why I love the black waterline too. She like has that a lot. But I love the, the nudie, darker lip. When I'm going for a lighter lip, I'll use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. But my favorite lip liner of all time right now, I would die for this. Our entire friend group is like feral for this one product. I can't tell you the amount of fights Brooke and I have gotten into like in a club over who has this lip liner. And I'm obsessed with it too because it's like $6. Like Charlotte Tilbury's is like $28 and I lose lip liner like it's like it's men like it's people in my life that just walk out sorry um makeup talk lip liner from morphe it looks a little dark and crazy when you first put it on obviously i just overlined my lips a little bit or a lot now after doing that i just take anything like moisturizing and shiny it looks really good with a nude lipstick around the center too if i want something more matte but tonight i feel like the rest of my makeup is like dark and matte so i want a little glossy thing my two favorites are either the laneige sleeping lip mask laneige how do you say it i say Say it so Laneige. 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 Laneige? It should be Laneige. Tonight I am wearing the Dior Lip Glow Oil in shade 001. Super pretty. I hear a wild lilac. Like, speaking of this bitch. Oh my god, wow. Well shit. Wow. I know that. Sorry, anything else you want to see? Go to Tana's Angels. <laughs> you look amazing. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, Kyla and Laura knows you haven't since 2020. You know what year it is or no? <laughs> it's 2022. This bitch still hasn't fucking done Lord knows what haul since fucking 2016. I have a new man. Do you? But the blacking out and Cosmo out of me. Oh my god, I've never come that many times in my entire life. I was like seasoning and I still haven't slapped. <laughs> okay, guys, all my friends are here and everyone is being crazy. Lila just showed me her most recent sex tape. But this is the final glam and one of the regular looks I do all the time. Up close, it looks like this. Thank you, Glamnetic, for sponsoring this video. If you guys want in the future for me to continue this series by showing you all of the makeup looks I do currently, please let me know. I actually miss nothing more than sitting down and glamming with you guys too. You know that the glamming process actually breaks me inside and I hate doing it more than anything in the world. So being able to sit with y'all, talk my shit, stare into the viewfinder the entire time and piss you off is exactly what I needed today. It's good enough for me. Now it's time to put on some clothes and live life. I just spent the last hour and a half looking for an outfit just to settle on a black turtleneck and black skirt from Amazon. I was gonna do like a whole little outfit of the night bit for you at the end of this. Literally, absolutely nothing special. Who would have ever thought you would even see Tana Mojo in a turtleneck though? Shoes are naked walls and that is solely to cover that bruise. I hope you guys enjoyed the latest episode of How to Cake Your Face Like a Pro. And if you'd like some more looks or anything like that coming soon, let me know. I love you so much. I didn't say it one time in this video, which is absolutely awful. But if you have not tried Dizzy Wine, my brand new wine that I just released, I will link that below. You guys have been ordering it so much and it is my favorite thing in the world. And if you want to keep up with me while I'm not posting on YouTube, you can watch my weekly show on OnlyFans called Tana Gone Wild, where I vlog everything that cannot be put on YouTube. And over on my Roll, on the Roll app, you can have an inside look at my camera roll. I post every single day on their photos that would never be put on Instagram or anywhere else. And I will be back at you very soon with a couple new fun, spunky vlogs. I love you so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.